Hello, good day everyone. I'm here in your front to explain the evolution of man. Evolutions involve the gradual change per simple to more complex form. Humans are believed to have developed from simple forms. Evolution is a heavy ties have begun the ocean billions of years ago. Darwin gave the theory of evolution. In his book, The Origin of Species, Darwin states that evolution has come through a series of natural selection. The theory emphasizes the following points. Natural selection, variation, struggle to exist, and survival of the fittest. Evolution is the outcome of the interaction among the following five processes. Mutation, genetic recombination, chromosomal abnormalities, reproductive isolation, natural selection. Stage in human evolution. The following are stage of human evolution. First, Dryophyticus. Those are them to be the ascensors of both man and apes. They live in China, Africa, Europe, and India. The genus Dryophyticus was lived the tropical lowlands which is inhabited were decently fruited. So the members could have predominantly been herbivores. The second is Ramaphyticus. Their first remain uses discovered from the Shivalik range in Funhab and later in Africa and Saudi Arabia. They live in open grasslands. They have two species of evidence confirm their hominid status. First, Tican tooth enamel, robust jaws and shorter canines, and second, usage of of hands for food and dividends and extrapolations of upright posture. The third is Astrolophyticus. The fossils of this genus was first discovered in 1924 in South Africa. They live in ground used stone as weapons and walk erect. They were a 4 feet tall and weighed 60 to 80 pounds. Fourth is Homo erectus. The first fossils of Homo erectus was found in Java in 1819. These were named Fiticanthropus erectus. They were considered as the missing link between the man and apes. Fifth is Homo sapiens. The Homo erectus evolved into Homo sapiens. During evolution, two subspecies of Homo sapiens were identified Homo sapiens. Neanderthal and Homo sapiens sapiens. The cranial capacity of Neanderthal grew from 1,000 to 200 to 1,600 cc. Some small hard axe had also been discovered. These species of hominids could hunt big names such as mammoths. And the last stage of human evolution is Homo sapiens sapiens. The remains of Homo sapiens were first discovered in Europe and were named Cro-Magnon. In this, the jaws are quite ridos, the modern man's chin appeared, and the skull was around. Their cranial capacity was about 1,350 cc. They gathered food through hunting art first occurred during this time.